fog risk, but it does mean that temperatures by day are set to rise above where they should be, and it will feel, for most of us, even with the rain, much warmer. Good afternoon. President Trump has welcomed what he's called an historic decision by the US Senate to confirm his nominee, Brett Kavanaugh, to the Supreme Court. Justice Kavanaugh has faced a series of allegations of sexual abuse, which he'd strongly denied. His lifetime appointment, approved by 50 votes to 48, is set to take America's highest court down a more conservative path. From Washington, Barbara Pletusher reports. Well, you can see more on all of today's stories on the BBC News Channel and the next news on BBC One is at 20 past five. Bye for now. Hello, you're watching the BBC News Channel with me, Geetha Gurumuthi. Now, scientists and representatives from nearly 200 governments have been meeting in South Korea all this week to agree a new report urging more ambitious global warming targets. They've agreed to limit increases in temperature to no more than 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. Well, the report, which will be published tomorrow, will advise countries that the impact of not adopting this tighter limit reached in the Paris Agreement of 2015 could be difficult. Earlier, I spoke to one of the report's authors, Professor Mars Allen, and I asked him what the United States' withdrawal from the Paris Agreement will mean. 